We begin with President Macron's trip to Mexico. The door is wide open for free trade talks with the country, Korea's biggest trading partner in Latin America. That wasn't the only big step taken to upgrade the two countries' relations either. Song Ji-sun starts us off with the results of the president's visit. It's being hailed as a breakthrough to expedite a long-stalled negotiation process. President Park Geun-hye and Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto announced the two countries will resume efforts to finally seal a bilateral free trade agreement by holding working-level talks in the fourth quarter of this year. Mexico is our largest trade partner, but the trade agreement between the two countries is still in the process. The two countries also sealed 34 MOUs to help Korean companies better engage in Mexican projects ranging from energy and water management to transportation and infrastructure. A business forum and one-on-one -on -one consultations were held on the sidelines of the summit to give Korean business leaders the opportunity to speak with local buyers. Korean startups fostered at Seoul's new innovation centers were among the companies that sealed deals worth $86 million at the event. On the business front, companies from both countries will be able to strengthen their collaborations through this economic cooperation agreement. As Mexico has always advocated nuclear non-proliferation, Peña Nieto also stressed that Mexico will not tolerate nuclear development or testing by any country in order to safeguard the peace and security of the world. For a stop in Washington for the Nuclear Security Summit, President Buck continued her nuclear diplomacy to keep the sanctions pressure on North Korea and open doors for Korean companies of all sizes to enter the America through expanded cooperation with Mexico. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News, Mexico City.